We've all heard of antibiotic resistance. It's a huge problem we face as we're losing effective treatments to deadly diseases. However, I think we're on our way to finding a new solution against this, all thanks to a bioluminescent marine bacterium called Vibrio fischeri. In the 1960s, scientists studying Vibrio fischeri noticed something interesting. While growing the bacteria in culture, they noticed that when the cells were dilute, they didn't make light, but when the cells grew to a certain number, they made light all at once. How do such primitive creatures know when to act together? Well, research has shown that Vibrio fischeri, as well as all species of bacteria, can talk to each other through a system known as quorum sensing, the way bacteria coordinate their behavior based on their population density. Simply put, it's how bacteria count each other to collectively turn on genes that lead to group behaviors, such as bioluminescence as mentioned before, biofilm formation, and the production of virulence factors, such as toxins. This is what helps some types of bacteria make you sick. Instead of attacking one by one, bacteria count each other until they know they have enough teammates to attack all at once, which overwhelms your immune system. So, how is quorum sensing carried out? Well, bacteria talk with a chemical language by using signaling molecules called autoinducers. Each bacteria species speaks its own language, so it has its own unique autoinducer and unique receptor to detect those autoinducers, like a lock and key. In the cell, a protein produces autoinducers, which are then released. At low cell density, the concentration of autoinducers is low, and group behavior genes stay off. But as the cells grow in number, high cell density is reached, and the autoinducers reach a critical concentration and can bind onto a receptor protein on the cells. The receptor is activated and triggers the cell to turn on genes leading to group behavior altogether. But that's not the end of it. Many species of bacteria live together, so they need to be able to communicate and work together between species. They do this by coupling up multiple quorum sensing systems, using their own species autoinducer and receptor, and also using autoinducers and receptors shared by many species. Wow, bacteria are pretty smart, but now it's time for us to outsmart them. Scientists are researching into a new generation of antibiotics by using anti-quorum sensing, such as by using molecules that lock onto bacterial quorum sensing receptors, blocking the autoinducer and preventing the activation of harmful behaviors. Another way is by tricking bacteria by using their own autoinducers against them. Research on Vibrio cholera has shown that, unlike most pathogenic bacteria, cholera's group behavior is virulence factor deactivation and release from the body meaning that at high cell density, virulence factors are turned off. Knowing this, scientists have cleverly added autoinducers to trick cholera into turning off virulence factors even at low cell density. In experiments, mice only injected with vibrio cholera can't survive the infection, while mice injected with vibrio cholera and its autoinducers often can. Although there are still challenges to developing anti quorum sensing molecules into drugs, understanding bacterial communication is opening a whole new direction in drug research, which will one day help us find the desperately needed cures for so many diseases.